Hello and welcome back to the Unscripted Podcast. It is a Saturday night here. It's 11.20 on the dot and (laughs) I'd like to start with a little warm up because the energy's a little low here. We're, we're, we're not feeling it. And some days it's going to be like that and the show must go on. You know what I mean? Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just trying to like smile and laugh through the pain. Um, but let's do a little, let's do a little warm up exercise. Let's, let's do a little, let's pull it back to. <laughs> To a high school musical where they're getting ready for the no, show. No, not. I already know where you're going. <laughs> I need you to warm up your lips. Go. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> Repeat after me. Ma. Ma. <laughs> Ma. M- Ma. <laughs> you never said Ma before. Ma. Well, I think we're warmed up enough. Anyways, um, just want to try something fun. <sighs> fun little things that we have planned today. I don't know if you can see our shirts. You definitely can't see yours, but we have a little twilight. We have a little twilight action going on here. Um, I am wearing the twilight poster for the movie with Edward and Bella. And... Stand up and show your shirt. <laughs> well, get up again. Um, you are wearing the Bella. Where the hell have you been, Loca? Shirt. Um, nice. Thank you. We actually just watched that movie. We we watched Twilight on Thursday. New Moon on Friday. We were supposed to watch Eclipse today, but we didn't have time. We're, we're planning on doing movie marathon because um, we like the Twilight series. As cringy as it is, it's just nostalgic and funny and it's good, all right? It's quality stuff, okay? But it also has a significance between us because it's actually the first movie we ever watched in theaters together. Long, long ago, folks. Back in the... In the olden days. Uh, w- what year was... What year is it? What year was that? It was like... 20... 20 four, 12. 12 was the first thing that came to mind, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Twilight release probably. date. 11. 2011. 2011. Well, would you look at... Oh, that makes sense because... I don't know why that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> I don't know why that makes sense, but um, it does. And Mm -hmm. it's the truth. So, yeah. So we watched that the first movie in theaters together, which is a nice little fun fact. And so, yeah, we're planning on doing a movie marathon before we head off to our trip. By the time you're seeing this, we will already be there to a location which I have not disclosed yet. For safety reasons. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, no one's going to come get us, but it's just, you know, you can never be too careful. But where we're going is very much like ha, 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 weather. And so <laughs> um, we just want to get the vibes going, you know, set the tone, make sure everything, make sure that everything feels right and, and we're ready to go. And it's also just a little like celebratory nod anyways i ramble so um we actually have some fun twilight trivia to do today i thought it would be fun to include that because we've been watching the movies and i want to really test our knowledge to see how well we actually know those movies it's between all of them i think so i did look at the questions because i had to search them up Mm -hmm. some of them i was like (laughs) i I have no idea. Can't tell you. So, um, w- like, two or three of them. I was like, what is that? So, um, yeah, let's just dive Joy, yeah. Dive right in, right? Let's get in there. Um, so, I don't know if you heard about this, because this came out, I believe, today. But there was a Texas House bill that got passed and went into effect 
yesterday on Friday. Well, yesterday for us, last week for you, um, on Friday, which will require convicted drunk drivers to pay child support if they kill a child's parent or guardian. Wow. Yeah. The law says offenders will be expected to make those payments until the child is 18 or until they graduate from high school, whichever is the latter. So, little rare Texas W moment. Right. Mm-hmm. Just thought I'd throw that in there. A little bit. I didn't hear about that. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's a step in the right direction. That's good news. That's good news. Yeah, that's good. That'll force some accountability on the drunk driver's True. part. True. True. Because there's really no reason to be doing that, you know, in the first place. It's like a stupid crime to get convicted for. Like, come on. Anyways, um, that's cool. On a lighter note. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Dang. Yeah, I know. It's like, <laughs> it kind of brought the mood down a little yeah. bit. It was really serious. Um, on a very much lighter note, mm-hmm. they canceled... How I Met Your Father after two seasons. I think I read that that Disney Plus just was like cutting content that they produced or whatever. I know it's a part of Hulu, but like, because you know how Disney Plus and Hulu, like you can do the the deal or whatever. Yeah, I don't, you know what I mean. The bundle. Or the bundle. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess... They were cutting content and I guess it got cut. I hmm. don't know. But like apparently they had the whole story written pretty much like they knew who the father was going to be. But we just won't know because it got canceled. Well, yeah, maybe the creator will release it. <laughs> yeah, that they could. could they know? could do that. Yeah, or it or maybe c- just wait until they can reboot it. It could be picked up by someone else. You never know. Mm-hmm. I'm not entirely mad at it. I mean, yeah. it wasn't the greatest show <laughs> in the world by any means. Um, and and what's funny though is that like, I felt like it was just getting good. Like, that's true. I really we well both of us really struggled to finish the first season because it's like, it's just like dumb and like lighthearted and whatever you know like a little cringy here and there actors too i know not too happy with i'm gonna (laughs) name any though no let's i'm gonna i want to name it i put it right here you want to name them no i want to name the one that you like you hate the guy you hate jesse i was gonna okay well it's out there now but i wasn't gonna say (laughs) well i'm so well no you need to if you're gonna say what you have to say you need to name i wasn't gonna say it though but you did say it (laughs) <laughs> you did. I just said you there's said some, some actors were a little questionable. Okay, well, yeah, you freaking hated him. You couldn't yeah. stand him every time he was on screen. You sighed. I don't know. He's you really... rolled your eyes. You just like okay, died wasn't a that bit. Crazy. It lo- it kind of was. I had to tell well, you. He like, did have babe, the worst lines, and he is really unlikable. <laughs> he's kind of yeah, he is. Um, no hate though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 um no offense <laughs> yeah but um so who who do you think the father is it I literally him. it, I I, it him, literally could I, be anyone i guess it would be but him, i think though. it would be him too because it's just how it started with i met your mother uh-huh where it was literally the first person yeah going based off of the how i met your mother uh, that's why I would say him. Did you see that 50 Cent is getting charged with a battery crime? Battery? Y- yeah, because he... Should, I don't know. Should I play the video first or should... Don't don't read. Don't read ahead. Should I play the video <laughs> first or should I tell you? Stop. No. <laughs> I don't know. You, you choose. Um, I guess let me just... Do I need to give you context? I don't know. Actually, yes. Let me give you context because I think I remember seeing the video and it like it might be unclear of like what's going on. But basically, he was at a concert. He was at his concert performing. Okay. Um, and he kind of had like another incident like where how Cardi B had not, but not like that. The like throwing on the stage. The, the throwing the mic thing. So he got in trouble oh, for throwing the mic. Him? Well, here's the thing. He was performing. His mic gave out. He got mad. He threw it on the floor. He gets another mic, tests it out. It doesn't work. He gets even more mad and he like chucks it and then it hits a girl in the face 
and like she got messed up like stitches yeah so he's being charged for that that's crazy (laughs) (laughs) that's crazy (laughs) that's tough Uh, (laughs) um hard day (laughs) (laughs) no but it's because the first thing that came to mind was Mm. uh miguel jumping on some man remember that (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like no not away. really <gasps> like he tried to jump he from tr- like one, one part of the stage onto the next one and like there was <laughs> a crowd in between and he jumped and then he caught the person <laughs> at the end and the person's neck just like hit the side of the stage oh, i don't like, know hard. like i i feel like i vaguely remember that but i can't tell you I for like certain but like pull it out. that's crazy um <sighs> let me see your phone we have like all the devices doing something right, right show now. Me, so. Show me 50 cents first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> laugh at that. Criminal charges after he threw a microphone at a woman's face. The woman was hospitalized and crowdgoers witnessed in fear as the woman's face covered in blood. I don't think he like intended to throw it at that. No, I don't think he specifically yeah, threw it at her. I saw that. Supposedly, like, she claims well, to, let's, that Well, let's look at the story. So, here, like, I have the thing. I have the report here. During the 48-year-old's old rapper's Wednesday, August 30th concert in L.A., he threw his microphone into the crowd. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's funny? It's just... <laughs> What's funny? It's just you said the, the 48. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny how that they yeah. included his age. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought that too, but I glanced over it. TMZ later reported that 50 Cent, real name Curtis Jackson, was not targeting the fan who shared photos of her head it, it didn't look like- laceration with the outlet, but was allegedly upset that the sound on his mic was malfunctioning. So I was I mean, right. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Law enforcement... Sources theorized that the musician had meant to toss the microphone at a member of his crew and the fan was not supposed to be standing in the front row area. The alleged victim, however, claimed that 50 Cent made direct eye contact with her before his his toss. But I mean, if if she was in the same area, like, he could have been looking, like, you know? That's still crazy, though, that if he intended to throw that at his... Oh, yeah, he he should not have done that in the first place. I thought he just threw it on the floor and it just happened to... Yeah. Hit somebody. So that was a little one. Okay, unhinged. so now you gotta pull up that Miguel Oh, one. yeah, yeah. Show me that. <laughs> the second I talk to Zoe, she stops panting. Oh, oh, yes, I've seen this. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, oh my god. And then he just goes back to singing. I mean, I know he's supposed to, but like, nah, he should have checked stop. on her. Yeah, like, he not should have stopped. Or like, whoever, oh, I didn't like, see if it was a girl or guy, like, but. Oh, everyone stops to stop. Are you okay? You know? Like, because he literally broke her neck almost. <laughs> did Did you see, like, the, the aftermath? aftermath? No. no. Causing her neck to snap back? Dude, I mean, did you see that? No, thing? I saw like, that. Like, it was literally on the edge of the stage. Uh, not the picture. <laughs> Oh, do they have it like when he got on it? What appeared to be an attempt and it to also jump. Looks like a little bit of a tea bag too, which makes it worse. Fan sues Miguel for jumping on her at the yeah, Billboard I didn't Awards. Yeah, she sued. Miguel sued two years after the landing on Fan. Dude, that's crazy. I want. He must have practiced that before, huh? Because like you don't just out and just jump like that it was pretty far he would have made it too if she didn't get in the way <laughs> <laughs> that story reminds me of of one time when i was at coachella with with daisy and um we were watching little uzi vert and he jumped down into the crowd and he was like walking through the crowd and like, like we were, I guess I think we we're like in the middle of like the whole crowd. And so like he like 
is walking into the crowd and like everyone's starting to like open up but like as he was getting closer to us i think like people like weren't realizing what was going on that he was like right in front of us so he was like trying to like move people to get out of the way and so <laughs> he ends up he has a mic in his hand because he's performing he ends up fucking decking daisy in the face <laughs> with the with his microphone she fucking <laughs> should have sued his ass she that's should've. hilarious allegedly allegedly and in, in my opinion for all intensive purposes this is an alleged story don't come after us <laughs> but <clears throat> did she end up getting like a bruise or anything or a she had a swollen nose, nose. She had, i think she actually i don't know i was gonna say i think she still it's has a, a bump to this day because oh, I, I remember <laughs> How noticeable <laughs> no because i asked her about it like a couple Has years back <laughs> <laughs> No, I asked her about it a couple the years ago. She's freakish now. <laughs> she said that she still has a bump and that it never like fully recovered. Oh, she says that. That's what she said. <laughs> but yeah, that was Get your bag. so funny. Like, obviously, I felt bad, but it was just, you know when you, I yeah no, I'm sure she laughed about it. No, too, she right? did. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh my god! No, I mean I'm sure it hurt, but like, it didn't. Well, that's pretty random too. Like, no, yeah. <laughs> little Uzi were just like, smacking the face with the mic. That's like a party story. Like yeah. that is an opener. That was a funny tension. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this cultural phenomena that is going viral and rampant on TikTok right now. Something that I thought that i was alone in and that's funny how a lot of there's a lot of things that like people think the way they think or what they do and they think like it's just them but it's actually like a universal thought or like things that other people think about too or do Uh uh-huh um and i'm talking about girl math Uh, yeah so i brought you into this world and I can take you out. No, <laughs> <laughs> okay. sorry. Moms be like toxic moms. Um, <laughs> um, I let you, you in. <laughs> <laughs> I let you in on on what girl math was, and some of the things that I think about and how I perceive girl math. But I wanted to dive in a little bit deeper because I feel like we we barely scratched the surface, mm-hmm. and I feel like you're still not team girl math. You're still no. I think I, I don't think. Even if you explain it to me. Oh, I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm just trying to get you to know a little bit more. Yeah, it's always fun to to learn. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to rapid fire through these. Okay. Um, feel free to chime in if you have any thoughts. All right. All right. So, girl math number one. If I buy something and then return it the next day. Mm-hmm. The money I get back from the return is considered a profit. <laughs> <laughs> That's money that I received, that I gained. <clears throat> Anything bought with cash is free because mm. money isn't real. Cash isn't real because mm. it's not coming out of my bank account. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> I, I kind of understand that one. Uh-huh. It's just like it's just sitting and it's not being accounted for. Mm hmm. I understand that one. Okay. Bit. Okay. <clears throat> Anything bought with a gift card is free. Also kind of understand <laughs> That's that valid. One. That's like, valid. You get like a gift card for your birthday or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or like, yeah. Or a like discounted product when you use like 25 to buy like a $70 product. So you only have to put in like. <laughs> okay. Girl math. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're adding to it Is... yeah no i so i kind of understand that one okay yeah, that one and the, the cash one but, okay i mean i don't agree but i understand it you know okay. why, why you look disappointed <laughs> because you're not being a girl's girl right now oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> i take everything i said back <laughs> thank you moving on when you load your Starbucks app in advance and you use the money on the app to pay for your coffee, it's free. That one's just funny, dude. 
<laughs> and it's completely true. And I'm pretty sure that's literally what Starbucks is doing. Like that's why they put like what is it? what is the amount? The lowest amount is ten, right? Yeah. I think that's why they do that. Yep. Yep. They're sneaky like that. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um any money that I have in Apple Pay or Venmo or PayPal makes whatever I spend on it free. So like if I have thirty dollars in my in my Venmo mm-hmm. and I need to use that, that's free money. That so doesn't exist. Just found $30 exactly. In my yeah. That's it's free. free money. It's free. So if I buy anything thirty dollars, it's free. It's free. Count your blessings. Yeah. Well, I don't even know how long that <laughs> yeah. thirty's been there, so or exactly, what it's, where exactly. It's from. That's why. So it just cancels so out I, anything. I agree with that one, just because I don't know where it's from. Mm, okay. Well, enjoy your money. <laughs> um, if I buy something that I need that costs thirty dollars, but shipping starts at fifty. I'll add something for twenty dollars to my cart, mm-hmm. and it's actually saving me money. By buying something else that I need for the twenty dollars, instead of spending like ten dollars on shipping, like what the fuck am I paying ten dollars for shipping for? Shipping is not even a thing. Like it's not; it doesn't even exist. I can't touch it. I can't feel it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I feel like you're patronizing me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Okay, moving on. On the same note, not spending enough to get free shipping is losing money. Splitting a purchase into four equal payments is actually saving money. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) If something's on sale and you don't buy it, you're losing money. Especially if it's something that you need. Oh, okay. There you go. If you need something... And it's, it's on, on sale. sale. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Now I've got them. Got them right where I want them. Oh. All right. Um, if I spend money on food, it doesn't count because you need food to survive. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> you need food to survive, do you, you do. not? You do. You got to do what it, whatever it takes. If someone pays for my meal or buys me a coffee or something like that, it's a profit. It's a profit. <laughs> That's money. They save well, me money. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <I agree>. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I saw that. Mm. Um, <laughs> if I cancel dinner plans, that means I made money and I can spend the money I would have spent on dinner somewhere else. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some good ones in there. Yep. Don't say I never learned you nothing, <laughs> boy. I tell you what. So going back to Twilight, like we were talking about earlier, we have something very fun planned, um, and it requires a bit of a small, a mini costume change on your end. We found this wig <laughs> at Goodwill, and um, I just thought that it really looked Edward inspired. So I thought it would be fun for you to wear this during the trivia segment. How do I, how do I even put it on? No, oh, I know that much. <laughs> Let's see. Excuse my hat here. Ooh. Oh, that's just, that's just crunchy. crunchy. <laughs> that's exactly the yeah. word I was going to use to describe it. Oh, it's just one of those you just like cook, put on? Well, maybe you could oh. use this as the little... Hmm. I don't know. I get it. <laughs> Soups on kids. <laughs> what? Soups on kids? Like a lunch lady. There's sloppy joes for lunch today. <laughs> okay. Did you bring your library card? I don't know her. <laughs> Kid, it says you owe 562 on your account. You can't have lunch today. Sorry. 
Hey, you're waking up, Choco. <laughs> sorry, Choco. Sorry, Choco. Dude, I don't even know which one to go for. <laughs> like... Dude, this is... <laughs> It, like, they're both bad, but... They're both really bad. Let's try it on. <laughs> Fuck, dude. What is this for kids? Oh. How do I look? <laughs> oh, shit. I can't even see. Let me see. <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> which way to put it. <clears throat> Dude. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to... I mean, either either way it's going to look ridiculous. Nah, hold on. That's not it. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I need to read. died you're all I literally died <laughs> your face is all wet bro i need to regroup i need to regroup <laughs> can we get to the trivia Should we comb this or? I don't think there's any. Maybe try and achieve fixing. this look right here. Because mm. that's not what's going on over here. Yeah, I don't think there's any fixing that you. <laughs> it just looks like a different <laughs> wig. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like a curly wig. When you order from Wish? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to look at you because it's <laughs> just so hilarious. Um, but let's dive let's dive right into the Twilight trivia. Dun 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 So how we're gonna play is I'm gonna ask us a trivia question and I encourage you all to play at home with us as well. We have these two whiteboards that we're going to write down our answers. That way, none of us know what the other one is thinking and we don't get like inspired by anyone else's answer. And then we'll flip it on the count of three and we'll show what we think our answer is. So the first question is, what is the name of the small town in Washington where Bella Swan moves to live with her father? Ready? No. No? You need more why? time? Yeah, why can't I? <clears throat> wow, I thought this would be an easy one. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I got it now. <laughs> I just got a glimpse of your wig in the <laughs> viewfinder and it is scary. <laughs> <laughs> it is scary. <sighs> one's good yeah okay i'm ready, ready. okay yeah. three two one yep forks i don't know if they're gonna be able to see our thing what is the name of bella's best friend in the twilight series bella's best friend. oh 
Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Alice, no? <laughs> it's Alice. Mm. I think in that, in the one we just watched, it was Jacob. But, like, Alice is her girl, you know? I think it's worded to be confusing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but I, I'm pretty sure that it's Jake because she literally says that, she, that he's yeah. her best friend yeah but also in the note that he she was writing or the emails she was sending to her I think when she said something like when I lost Edward I didn't know I'd, I'd lose you mm-hmm that doesn't I mean, mean, that, that doesn't mean that's though. her best friend. Yeah, In the movie New Moon, which country does Edward visit, leaving Bella heartbroken? No, oh, this is the one that we just watched. Yeah, right? but I don't which know. Which country does Edward visit? We, were, we like, literally were asking each other that last night when we watched it. I was like, where is this exactly? And we're like, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea either. Look, here's my problem. I'm scared. I'm not good with geography. <laughs> and I don't want to say something stupid. Sometimes my small little pea okay. brain is like, what's but a country? But I'm not good at it either, so. I know, but sometimes, like, I'll make, like, inexcusable mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> and it just makes me look stupid. Okay, I'm just going to say, I, isn't it Italy? Okay, okay. I was going to say Italy, but I wasn't sure. What is the special power of Alice Cullen, one of the Cullen family vampires? Oh. Of Alice, right? Mm-hmm. Ready? Yeah. She sees the future? Yeah. What is the name of the first vampire Bella meets aside from the Cullens? Is it Laurent? Uh, well, I put I the, the three of them because she meets them at the same time. Right? At the baseball game? Yeah. That's what I thought, too. In Breaking Dawn, what is the name of Bella and Edward's daughter? Daughter. Uh, one. What's the name of their daughter? It is... Ready? Yeah. Renesmee? Oh. Okay. What yeah. you said? And I said at say the same at this time, point. like one, two, three. Uh, well, it's Renesmee. Yeah. What is the primary weakness of vampires in the Twilight series? Fuck. I feel like I know this. I know this. I just like. Oh, like. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to give it away if I ask this. Like how to kill them? I think so. Oh, easy. <laughs> What did you write? <laughs> I was putting wolves, question mark, humans. Uh, honestly, I forgot. I'm just... So you want me to just say I'm it? just going generic. Okay. I just put a stake through the heart. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so it's fire and decapitation. Okay. They, f they like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burn them and then they also like rip their limbs apart. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you right, you right. What is the name of the treaty that governs the relationship between the Collins and the Quilete tribe? Also, forgive me if I didn't pronounce that right. <laughs> Just write down what you think it is. I have no idea. They literally freaking... I've only heard them refer to it as this. <laughs> Which sounds pretty stupid, so I don't think this is it. Ready? Yeah, one, two, three. Is it the peace treaty? I the treaty? treaty. <laughs> <laughs> Just I remember think they the said treaty. The peace treaty. Oh. 
All right, last question. In Eclipse, what important decision does Bella make that significantly impacts her future? The one we haven't seen? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, one, two, three. I don't know. I put she chooses Edward? Yeah, I, I put she accepts Edward's proposal. Oh, right, because it ends with the proposal. Yeah. To end the show today, we'd like to bring you a special dramatic reading of a scene from Twilight, written by Melissa Rosenberg from the novel by Stephanie Meyer. You're impossibly fast and strong. Your skin is pale white and ice cold. Your eyes change color. And sometimes you speak like, like you're from a different time. You never eat or drink anything. You don't go out into the sunlight. How old are you? I'm 17. How long have you been 17? A while. I know what you are. Say it. How about... <laughs> Say it. Vampire. Are you afraid? No. Then ask me the most basic question. What do we eat? You won't hurt me. He takes her arm and leads her, walking fast. Where are we going? Up the mountain. Out of the cloud bank. You need to know what I look like in the sunlight. They fly. Sort of. This is why we don't show ourselves in the sunlight. People would know we're different. This is what I am. Edward walks into a sunbeam and he sparkles. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> it's like diamonds. You're beautiful. Beautiful? This is the skin of a killer, Bella. I'm a killer. And scene. So we hope, um, not to give you secondhand embarrassment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's currently one thirteen in the morning. We've had lots of laughs today. Um, very fun episode. Very fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Ice Spice. Um, but uh, yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. So we're going to call it here. Facts. Um, uh, we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. Bye. Peace.